Hey, I'm Georgia. I'm one of the mates on the Oliver Hazard Perry, and you asked us on Ask Us Anything about these funny marks on the side of our boat. So these are called plimsoll marks, or officially load lines. And I'm going to tell you all about how to read this one and what it does. The reason these lines are called plimsoll lines or plimsoll marks because Samuel Plimsoll created them. He was a famous merchant and also a dedicated shipping reformer. He became concerned by the loss of ships and crew due to the overloading of the cargo. He was also an active member of the British Parliament and had considerable influence over the Parliament during the formulation of the Merchant Shipping Act of 1875, part of which required these new load lines. The purpose of a load line is to ensure that the ship has sufficient freeboard, that's the height from the waterline to the main deck, and more importantly, sufficient reserve buoyancy, the volume of the ship above the waterline, the ability to float your boat. It's also used to ensure adequate stability and avoid excess stress on the ship's hull as a result of overloading. So how do you read a plimsoll mark or a load line? Let's start really quick with a little background about water. Water has multiple densities, whether it's fresh water, salt water, warm water, cold water, they all have various densities. The denser the water, the better the buoyancy. The better the buoyancy, the more we can load on the boat. Let's take a look at how the plimsoll mark can provide us with safety information. So we place the plimsoll mark at the water line and everything else is derived from that plimsoll line. The next thing we need to know is the deck line, the location of the boat where water can get in. The distance between the water line and the deck line is called freeboard. That's basically our reserve buoyancy. The plimsoll line, plimsoll marks also provide us with the draft, the depth from the water line to our keel. Plimsoll marks are indicators of maximum safe draft and minimum freeboard in various conditions. Let's take a more detailed look at our load lines and our plimsoll mark. The first thing you'll notice is that circle. That's our load line disc and our plimsoll line going straight through it. Then we have tropical fresh load, freshwater load line, tropical load line, summer load line, winter load line, and winter North Atlantic load line. In case you were wondering, the AB on our plimsoll line is for the American Bureau of Shipping. The American Bureau of Shipping maintains a set of rules and guidelines for new ship design and construction as well as the integrity of existing vessels, including issuing load lines on behalf of the U.S. Coast Guard. So how do we use that plimsoll mark or that load line? Well, when we create our voyage plan, we figure out where we're going to be sailing and when we're going to be sailing there. We can then make proper adjustments for our cargo load by using the plimsoll and the load lines. We take a look at our voyage plan, take a look at our load lines. So if we're traveling across the Atlantic in the summer, or we're traveling across the Atlantic in the winter, or we're traveling through the tropics, or traveling around through the Gulf and up into a river, we take a look at what load lines are appropriate for each location. And we load our ship appropriately with a safe and proper amount of freeboard and draft, keeping our crew, our ship, and our cargo safe, thanks to Samuel Plimsoll. Let's take a quick last look at our load line and our Plimsoll mark. Our load line disc from the American Bureau of Shipping, our Plimsoll line, which is also our summer load line, and our freshwater load line. Since the SSV Oliver Hazard Perry is a school sailing vessel and only operates from April until October in the ocean, and an occasional fresh water, we only need those two lines. So that's all about ABS load lines and plimsoll marks. And uh, thanks for reaching out to us on Ask Us Anything. Send your questions and we'll do our best to answer them. Have a great day.